You're listening to episode one of A Whole New You podcast. In today's show, you'll learn about us, your podcast hosts, and what our show is all about. Welcome to A Whole New You podcast. I'm your co-host, Kim Maravich. I'm a registered nurse and author of the book, 360 Health. I'm joined by my dear friend, Lori Biddle, a health and wellness coach certified through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. Our show exists to inspire and empower women to take charge of their health with weekly tips and conversation about self-care, mindset, nutrition, fitness, and clean living. Please keep in mind that the material provided in this podcast is intended as general information only and should not be used as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. We're thrilled to have you here. Let's get to the show. Hi, I'm Kim Maravich. I live outside of Pittsburgh, PA with my husband, Jim, and our two little boys, Nathan and Adam, who are five and three years old. So Lori and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about ourselves um, in this introductory podcast. So my story is that I am a registered nurse in background, and outside of nursing school, I started working in cardiac care, and I pretty quickly knew that I really didn't want to work in a hospital setting. Um, My interests were more in nutrition and preventative medicine. So I decided to completely change career paths. Um, I took a break from nursing, and funny enough, I became an elementary education teacher, and I taught second grade for almost 12 years. Um, My mom was an elementary teacher, which is sort of why I was interested in the first place. Um, And I did work as a registered nurse part-time for a while while I was teaching but then quit nursing just to focus on education. Um, But after the birth of Adam, my second son, I decided to stay home with my kids. My husband, Jim, travels a lot, and I just wasn't able to do it all by myself. So I resigned from teaching to stay at home with my boys. And while I love being a mom, and a stay-at-home mom is what I always wanted to do, there was a part of me that still wanted to work in some capacity. And so just for fun, I was doing some writing um, for a website. And I was writing articles about nutrition um, and health in general. And those articles started getting picked up by other websites. So I was thinking, well, if, if I'm writing in such a way that people are interested and they enjoy what I'm writing, then um, you know maybe I could be writing a book. <laughs> so I looked into... Um, superfoods that were beneficial for health, but I was also finding that a lot of those superfoods had something to do with cancer prevention. Um, And foods that I was focusing on were anti-angiogenic foods, which can turn off the blood supply to cancerous tumors. So um, from these articles, I developed an idea for writing a book about cancer and cancer prevention. And I decided to self-publish a book called 360 Health. Um, And the subtitle is Your Guide to Cancer Prevention, Healing Foods, and Total Body Wellness. So um, lo and behold, I was able to get on to some podcasts um, when I was preparing to launch my book. And that's how I caught the bug for doing podcasting. I, I think I was on about 10 different podcasts and I just found them to be such a great way to reach a larger audience. And it was a, a way to build um, a community. So it's always been my dream to launch a podcast of my own. And we're finally doing that right now. And I'm Lori Biddle. I'm an integrative health coach certified through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. I have two girls. I want to say little girls, but Unfortunately for me, they're not that little anymore. One is actually taller than I am, and um, they are currently 11 and 13. My husband, Steve, is an avid hunter and most likely will disappear into the woods every chance he gets these next few years, um, you know, these teenage years in our home between periods and potential menopause and all the things that are going to be happening at the same time. Um, He's definitely going to have his hands full. Luckily for us, he uh, is a sweet and patient man. He grew up in a house full of women. He has three sisters. 
So he gets it, and we are very, very blessed for that and for having him. And um, before coming, becoming a health coach, I worked in corporate America for 20 years. I have an accounting degree, and my background for that 20 years um, was a, a financial analyst. I have a very analytical mind. And I would not say that math is really even my strong point. I know that's ironic because I've been an accountant for 20 years, but it was always more um, the analytics that kind of intrigued me and trend analysis and that kind of stuff. So believe it or not, that background has served me very well um, in this new endeavor, Um, just kind of analyzing trends in numbers has helped me with analyzing trends in behaviors so that's that's kind of been the correlation between those two but during that 20 years of working uh and again in corporate america and in sometimes a very toxic environment i was also simultaneously trying to be super mom at home uh trying to do everything perfectly and you know having the standards of pinterest and everything else that we have as outside pressures um on who we're supposed to be and how we're supposed to be i got completely burnt out on life to be honest with you i found myself just kind of going through the motions and not enjoying anything and that's when i knew something had to change and i needed to kind of take back control of my life and the situation and start doing things differently. And I have spent the last two years trying to simplify and find my joy again. And I'm happy to be here and report that that's happening. That's happening every day. And it's it's a very exciting journey. And I want to, at this point, start to pay that forward and use the tools that I've gained through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and doTERRA essential oils, which has been a a very, very big part of my journey and super powerful tools to aid, you know, in this process. But I'm ready to take all those tools and help other women on their very unique journey to uh, health and happiness. So that's what we're here, Kim and I, to do. Yeah, so we just thought we would tell you a little bit about how Lori and I um, connected. Uh, And then we'll go into what our podcast is going to be about and what we see as our vision um, for this space. So Lori and I went to high school together, ironically, uh, but we we actually weren't really friends in high school. I was a year ahead of her. And of course I knew her. She was a cute little cheerleader. <laughs> it was a very big school that we went to though. So it was hard to know everyone and be friends with everyone, but we knew of each other. That's right, yeah, yeah we knew of each other and um, So funny enough, we actually attend the same church and we live in the same, we actually live in Cranberry Township, Pennsylvania, which is north of Pittsburgh. Um, But I saw Lori at church, um, but I actually didn't think she knew who I was. And, you know, maybe just smiled at each other and that was about it. Um, But do you want to tell them how you... Yeah, so I was um, at this time studying again at IIN and just having this whole new awareness of different things in our community promoting wellness. I'm sure they were there, uh, you know, but I be, am now and, and have been for the last couple of years a lot more in tune to those things. So I was flipping through Cranberry Township magazine and I saw Kim's picture and her name because as she mentioned we saw each other at church and we recognized each other but seeing the face and the name you know it all just kind of came together for me and in this article she was promoting her book and I was reading through her background and through her mission and just found everything aligning so well with what I wanted to come out in our community and do and um, so I believe I reached out to you on social media, maybe. Um, yeah, I think I got a message from you on Instagram, which mm-hmm. is funny because um, she, you know, sent me a direct message, and I think she had liked a few of my posts. And I went and looked at her profile, and I thought maybe I requested. I think you were a private page then. Yeah. So. But I knew from your profile picture who you were, and I thought, oh, that's so cool. And I was just about to write to you 
when I got this direct message from you. So I found because her your face your Instagram profile is I I N Health Lori I I N Health, health Coach, coach. right? Mm-hmm. So I knew from that that she was in the same sphere. And like Lori, I had been wanting to make connections to um, because you're you know you kind of become this quote unquote entrepreneur and you know you're kind of making your way on your own and it can be scary and you feel like you're just screaming to the abyss you know so it was nice to make connections in that way um, and Lori and I met and I can't even remember did we meet at your house for the first time maybe we just emailed back and forth but oh first watch Oh, first watch. Yeah, yes. yeah. First watch. We had some yummy juice. <laughs> we got to kind of talk about our vision. Yeah. And um, again, just kept finding so many common threads. Yeah. And, and just our end goal aligned so much and, and the people we wanted to reach. And it uh, it was a really cool thing to, to feel like you have a partner in this. And um, also very nice to be in the same community because right now, I have a company that I started two years ago, Simply Empowered LLC. I work with clients one-on-one, and so far I haven't expanded that online. I've been I've been really focusing on my community. So I was I was glad to find Kim, who also is in my community. We teach workshops, and Kim does meet the authors, you know, and it's we can go and support each other and just connect with people face to face. But this podcast is is super special because it's kind of taking that message that we've been spreading in our community and giving us more reach. Um, yeah, for sure. And, you know, with my my book, um, I had promoted it on podcasts and kind of reached beyond the community and made some connections that way. Um, but a lot of it was word of mouth and just, you know, doing things on Facebook that were just my friends. And I did create a Facebook write, um, it's Kim Maravich Health Writer. It's my Facebook writer page, if you wanna go to that. (laughs) And Lori has a page too. But beyond that, it it is hard to make connections. And Lori and I just felt like we clicked in that way and that we could use this podcast to reach um, a larger community. And when I asked her, I remember I sent her an email and just said, you don't have to get back to me, but I wanna take this class in podcasting and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna pay for it, but I really don't wanna do a podcast unless I have a co-host. And think about it, but would you be interested? And she wrote back like immediately and said, I don't even have to think about it, I'm in. So you know, from that time on, we've been super excited to get this podcast out and aired for you. And um, I think Lori wanted to just tell you about some of the reasons why we think we're a good um, partnership and a dynamic duo. (laughs) Definitely. Um, You know, we have different skill sets, but I think they complement each other so well. Again, I keep going back to we have the same overarching mission, but, um, you know, our life circumstances are very different right now. Kim has young boys. Um, I've been through everything that she is going through now um, with young children and I survived Mm -hmm. (laughs) and um, now I have teenage girls so I'm heading into a whole nother phase of life and you know again just between the two of us and our family lives and our circumstances at home we kind of bring in some different angles as well as our backgrounds again mine was corporate America hers was more in the clinical medical side of things which I think adds a lot of value to the topics we're discussing here on the podcast Um, and then I've had my health coaching training you know just kind of taking the holistic approach at um wellness and you know bringing all of this together I think is just going to give you guys so much good content and our list of topics that we've been working on for you is I would say at this point it feels endless like we could Mm -hmm. just keep going we keep coming up with you know these in these brainstorming sessions so many great things that we want to to bring on the show for you so we're very excited to have the opportunity to do this and to have you here with us today yeah so with that note we just want to talk about um, what we hope this show will do for you and um, the kind of topics that we're going to be talking about. So we chose the name A Whole New You for several reasons. Um, first, 
we look at ourselves as being whole beings and there's much more to wellness than just diet and exercise and wellness can encompass things like sleep schedules relationships spirituality to name a few things so um, all of those parts are equally important and as you know (laughs) you can be thin and exercise but if you're stressed and you're not implementing self-care you're really not going to be optimally healthy so we really aim to focus on health from all angles and health as a whole person. Um, We're going to cover some relevant topics concerning staying healthy in our world, like our busy schedules. Um, We're going to talk about fad diets, um, you know, chemicals in our foods, toxic products, and and all those kind of things. So um, we hope that this will be far-reaching in the sense that it's not, this isn't just going to be about, you know, diet and exercise and weight loss. Um, while we'll talk about some of those things, we also want to make sure that we're covering um, our whole being and you as a whole person. Yeah, and the other part of our topic, um, the word new, is very important because we do believe that you can become a new person every day. We view each day, each hour each minute really as a chance to kind of hit that reset button you, you know you see, everyone's gets off track we're not perfect we're human and we need to give ourselves some grace and just remember that all is not lost because you know you had a bad breakfast you can turn that day around it's you have that power you have the control over that so you know that's being said you don't have to wait till the first of the year and you don't have to wait till Monday and you know that next very next meal that very next thing you put in your mouth that very next activity that you do um, can can turn around your day or one bad choice that you made so we just want to really kind of hammer that point home that you know you can be a new you at at any point and um, you know we don't need to punish ourselves for anything we need to love ourselves and look at each experience as a chance to learn and grow yeah and this podcast community we feel will, will probably be mostly women but if you're a guy out there listening welcome you're welcome to come every week and listen and some of the topics might be female related, but that's okay because you probably have women in your life and whether it's a mother or a wife or a girlfriend. Um, so we hope that you'll take away something from every topic that we talk about. Um, but specifically as women, um, we are also continually changing um, and having new experiences. We are getting married, we might have babies, then we begin to parent toddlers who turn into teenagers and then into adults. Um, And then Lori and I were talking off air that um, we're in a unique situation right now. I, Lori had mentioned her girls are older and my boys are three and five. So I'm a quote unquote old mom. I had my second son when I was 40 years old. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of the other moms at preschool are like 10 years younger than me, some of them. So I I feel like this show can encompass a broad range of women. You know, we're gonna have women who are coming who might be in their 20s and 30s who are just, you know, fit and wanting to stay healthy and get ready to have babies. Um, and then there are gonna be people that are Lori's in my age um, that are kind of like in that perimenopausal state, you know, that we might be reaching the end of our fertility years and all of the joys and hormone changes that happen with that. Um, But also, because we're gonna be talking about things like cancer and disease prevention, um, we also welcome those who are much older than us. Um, And in fact, you know, when I go to do talks about my book, 360 Health, I would say the majority of the audience are elderly, you know, probably at least 60 and up. So we welcome everyone um, and all women and men too um, to this arena. But what we wanted to, to focus on specifically is that we don't have to be sad about time passing, that we can look about at these changes through a positive lens. And again, here comes the word new, that each new period of life is a time for growth. We can get to know ourselves better. Um, we can begin new habits. We can prioritize our health and self-care 
And honestly, when we do that, we can embrace all that life has to offer because when we can take care of ourselves, we can better um, serve others and take care of them. And it's not selfish to implement self-care. That's really, really important. It's okay to make time for you. You know, and another thing that's interesting about Kim and I, you know, just to, to talk a little bit more about how our skills mesh, I'm very much about going back to basics and just simplifying everything because we've made this very complicated in our world today. And I think, you know, a huge part of the population just needs to kind of hear that message about taking it back to basics and simplifying but there's also a lot of value in research and you know all the science to back that up, which isn't simple. It can get kind of mm-hmm. complex. Um, but Kim's so good at that. She is, you know, it's hardcore research and <laughs> big words and you know all the things that I'm like simple and basic. So you guys are going to get all of that here, and I think it's it's just going to be so great. And we have created an Instagram page for our podcast. It's called A Whole New You Podcast that you can follow and also a Facebook group, a whole new podcast, a whole new you podcast community, which we do invite you to join in this group. We hope to build fellowship and we intend for it to be a safe place for everyone to share ideas and ask questions and just kind of build on what we are doing here in these episodes. Yeah. So on the show, um, our show may look different from episode to episode, but we what we plan is for um, sometimes for Lori and I to just be conversing with each other about a given topic. We'll um, you know pick an episode topic and give our two cents about you know what we know and what we think about the topic. Um, sometimes we're going to be interviewing guests, and we have a short list of guests already that we're really excited to present to you. And these guests might talk about their own health journeys, um, some health crises, um, just how you might, they might be able to inform you of ways towards wellness. Um, So we're going to have a lot of different, we don't want to give away any of our guests right now, but we have um, some really interesting ones scheduled um, that we think you'll find interesting. And um, sometimes we'll also like to answer your questions on the show. So um, we're going to ask you to submit questions, and those questions can either be about an upcoming episode topic, or if you just have general questions about health or something that you heard on the show, um, you could submit those questions as well, and we will be glad to answer them on the show um, the best that we can. I think the biggest thing in all of this is we really want this to be a space where women feel seen and understood and supported. And, you know, we really hope that you will come on this journey with us. And we thank you so much for listening. Yeah, thanks for being here today. So for more from me, Kim, you can go to KimMarovich.com. And my website is SimplyEmpoweredLLC.com. So if you want to hear more from Lori, go to that. Um, to submit your questions, if you do have questions for our show or just for us in general, you can submit them to contact at a whole new you podcast.com. That's our email, and we will be sure to read every email that comes through. And if you would be so kind as to leave us a review on iTunes, we would greatly appreciate that so that more people can find our podcast and join our community. Thanks for being here today. 